USS Chinook, PC-9, is accepted by the Philippine Navy after being decommissioned by the United States Navy in Manama, Bahrain on March 28, 2023. It will be commissioned into service and christened as BRP Ladislao Dewa, PS-178, on September 11, 2023 in Manila. Courtesy of Philippine Navy, two patrol vessels donated by the United States Navy, USN, to the Philippine Navy, PN will be christened and commissioned into service next week. The future BRP Valentin Diaz, PS-177, and BRP Ladislao Dewa, PS-178, will be included in the PN's fleet once they are commissioned at the naval station Jose Andrada in Manila on September 11. Captain Benjo Negranza, PN spokesperson, said the two vessels will be part of the Alvarez-class patrol vessels, ACPVs, currently in service with the PN's littoral combat force. The future BRP Valentin Diaz and BRP Ladislao Dewa are former Cyclone-class patrol ships USS Monsoon, PC-4, and USS Chinook, PC-9, respectively, of the USN that were donated to PN through the Excess Defense Articles EDA, program. They served the USN for 28 years and decommissioned in Manama, Bahrain last March 28. They were delivered to the Philippines in May. They will be named after two Filipino patriots who were among the founders of the Katipunan that revolted against the Spanish colonizers in the Philippines in 1896. The 55-meter vessels will be able to complement the PN's patrol gunboats in their campaign to ensure the safety and security within the littoral waters of the porous borders and vast maritime environment of the Philippines while being equipped with the firepower and lethality for littoral operations, Negranza said. They are projected to undertake coastal patrols along our littoral waters and sea lanes of communications, SLOCs, maritime interdiction operations, escort operations, surveillance and special operations, as well as humanitarian assistance and disaster response operations, he noted. The lead ship of the ACPV, BRP General Mariano Alvarez, PS-38, was acquired by the PN from USN in 2004 and has played significant roles during counterinsurgency operations in southern Mindanao. The two refurbished American Navy vessels that joined the Philippine fleet on Monday will bring real and strategic benefits not only to the country, but also to its alliance with Washington and to the region, U.S. Ambassador to the Philippines Mary Kay Carlson said. During the christening and commissioning of BRP Valentin Diaz and BRP Ladislao Dua, both Alvarez-class patrol vessels, Carlson said the vessels were entering into service at an important time when the maritime security environment in the Indo-Pacific is increasingly complex. Amid China's aggression in the South China Sea, the Philippines and the U.S. have committed to uphold rules-based order and deter actions that will undermine peace and stability in the region. Carlson said the mission that the vessels will undertake will not be easy, as they will patrol the Philippine waters, protect the legitimate economic activities, fight against illegal fishing as well as deliver human assistance and disaster relief. I commend the brave sailors who serve aboard them. Their dedicated service and the missions they undertake are central to the shared U.S.-Philippine goal of ensuring a free, open, and prosperous Indo-Pacific region," Carlson said. According to Carlson, the transfer of the ships from the U.S. Navy to its Philippine counterpart has much more than symbolic value. She said it symbolized America's continued support for the Philippine Navy, which is on the front line of defending the country's sovereign rights in the South China Sea, particularly over the West Philippine Sea. This commissioning is also the latest illustration of our continued collaboration in pursuit of the modernization goals of the armed forces of the Philippines. The Philippines is the largest recipient of U.S. military assistance in the Indo-Pacific, merited by the ambitious agenda we have set together for our alliance, Carlson said. Valentin Diaz and Ladislao Dewa have been commissioned to join the Philippine Navy's fleet through U.S. military financing worth P-780 million, 13.8 million United States dollars. 
As the Philippines continues its courageous stand to uphold the international order and defend its rights in the West Philippine Sea, rest assured the United States stands with you in this all-important endeavor, Carlson said. Previously named USS Monsoon and USS Chinook, Valentin Diaz and Ladislao Dewa used to patrol the waters of the Arabian Gulf in support of operations in the Middle East, including operations enduring freedom and Iraqi freedom. These two vessels have a significant history of service at the forefront of operations for the United States Navy, Carlin said. After refurbishment through U.S. funding, they are now ready to join the Philippine Navy Littoral Combat Fleet.